Hello, my name is Joe Spiker, and I'm the Acting Head of Sustainability at Autodesk and the Executive Director of the Autodesk Foundation. This is a picture I took of my neighborhood in San Francisco. I woke up with my wife, who was pregnant at the time with twins, to this image on September 9th of last year. I remember it was a Wednesday, a supposedly typical workday, and while I sat at home in front of my computer, I looked out my window in between the Zoom calls. As early morning went on, the sky didn't get any lighter. In fact, as the day progressed, it got darker and darker. Street lamps across the city actually stayed on all day, as if the night had never ended. The sky had turned orange because of the unprecedented wildfires burning across California that were funneling smoke into the Bay Area. The ominous sky was a vivid reminder that our environment is shifting and doing so rapidly and radically. While California and the American West have always dealt with fires, in fact, the local ecology is well adapted to it, the changes that we are seeing today are directly attributable to climate change. And the negative effects of this changing climate fall disproportionately on the economically vulnerable. The families that can't afford expensive air filtration systems are those who have jobs that require them to be exposed to such hazardous conditions. And this isn't just happening in California. We are all experiencing this across the globe. The COVID-19 global pandemic alone has demonstrated that we need to adapt, adapt our workplaces, our homes, our communities, to be able to deal with whatever might come. However, there are bigger societal trends that we've got to address. Today, there are over seven and a half billion people living here on Earth. By 2050, there will be 10 billion. That is unprecedented growth, nearly 30% in 30 years. Along with this growing population comes a demand for more energy and more materials. We're anticipating a 100% increase in demand for energy by mid-century. So why am I telling you all this? Because I believe that my company, Autodesk, is ideally suited to help innovators around the globe devise new ways of working, living, designing, and making things. Autodesk is a design and make company. Our solutions span countless industries, from architecture to construction to film, empowering innovators in every corner of the planet to realize their own visions. We've packaged all of our efforts here into an impact strategy, which is driven by our environmental, social, and governance principles or ESG for short. This impact strategy turns the opportunity of a better future into a reality. This strategy has two aspects, what we want to achieve and how we will achieve it. Firstly, we believe that we can help to drive significant impact by one, reducing energy and materials in our industries, two, increasing health and resilience in the projects that our customers are designing and making, and three, driving towards meaningful work and prosperity for workers in our industries. How will we do this? By one, improving our own operations, two, partnering with our customers to drive towards these outcomes, and three, advancing our industries in that direction. We set a scientific target for reduction of our own greenhouse gas emissions back in 2008. Now, we are updating that target to net zero emissions. We're doing this by putting in place an internal price on carbon. This includes embedding sustainability into our purchasing practices, conferences, business travel, and our facilities, which includes our cloud and data centers, all of which have been powered by renewable energy since 2016. We also have joined the thousands of companies, 195 nations, and countless city and local governments in our commitment to the principles and spirit of the Paris Climate Agreement. Cloud-based solutions have the potential to democratize access to opportunities and foster more inclusivity across the industry. That is not even to mention online or in-app learning and credentialing tools that we've put forth. Next, in 2020 in the United States, the industrial sector accounted for 33% of total energy consumption. It's estimated that manufacturing facilities waste nearly 30% of that energy as well. Our solutions enable more sustainable design, manufacture, production, and operations through material efficiency, 
circularity, energy efficiency, and smart manufacturing. And ultimately, we aim to transform these industries that we serve. Now, this is a bold ambition, but it is one that is rooted in evidence. While it's an overused example, the electric car company Tesla is instructive. Tesla demonstrated the unit economics of electric vehicles could work. And now it's the most valuable automotive company by market cap in the world. From an impact perspective, Tesla has now motivated every other car company of note to go electric at speed. Tesla's biggest legacy will be how it transformed the industry overall towards electrification. Looking back at ourselves, if we at Autodesk can make it just as easy to design and make things sustainably as it has been in the past to design and make unsustainably, we, along with all of our customers, can actually change the world. That is what we mean by advancing our industries. Progress is measured here in years, not quarters, and we look forward to meaningful change by the end of this decade. The second impact opportunity area that we focus on is enabling better energy and material choices to reduce carbon emission and waste. Again, collaboration is key in this area. And as a company, we support the use of open data schemas and open source components. In 2019, we worked with the Carbon Leadership Forum in collaboration with Skanska, Sea Change Labs, and nearly 50 other partners to create the Embodied Carbon Construction Calculator or EC3 as it's known. As I mentioned, the built environment is responsible for around 40% of carbon emissions worldwide. This does not take into account embodied carbon, the emissions that come from raw material extraction, transportation, refining, and manufacture of those materials. The EC3 tool takes validated data and enables users to easily access and view material carbon emission numbers, allowing them to make carbon smart choices during material specification and procurement. What would have previously taken experts days to assess, calculate, and optimize can now be done in minutes by a general practitioner. Using the EC3 tool, Microsoft was able to reduce the embodied carbon of their 2.5 million square feet of new workspace by as much as 30%. And they did all of this without any significant cost increases. Lastly, the global pandemic and the catastrophic climactic events over the past year have emphasized the importance of our third focus area, which is about accelerating the design and make of products and places that are safer, healthier, and more resilient. Sanergy is one of those organizations supported by the Autodesk Foundation. Around the world, two and a half billion people lack access to a sanitation solution that separates them from their waste. There are also nearly 1 million sanitation-related deaths every year, and poor sanitation costs the global economy more than $260 billion annually. Sanergy is dedicated to building and scaling safe sanitation value chains, and they currently work in East Africa. They're providing opportunities for people to invest in sanitation solutions for their friends and neighbors. Community members can purchase toilets, prefabricated, low cost, high quality, and they become operators of those toilets. Sanergy provides the training, marketing support, and access to interest-free loans and ongoing operational support, including waste collection services. In return, these operators earn an income by offering a needed service in the communities in which they live. Autodesk designed software, and our employee expertise has enabled Sanergy to increase the amount of waste removed from these communities and develop new products and service delivery lines. I, and Autodesk support legislative proposals that help us achieve these goals, such as Korea's New Green Deal. With regards to this New Deal in particular, I appreciate the three distinct yet reinforcing elements, the digital, the green, and the human New Deal. This legislation is a clear and substantial acknowledgement of the direction that society needs to go. We are seeing this across the world with the European Green New Deal and the Biden administration's climate agenda here in the US. We need to digitize, achieve sustainable outcomes, and invest in human capital, and we need to do so at speed. If the private and public sectors work together, 
on training programs to get the right skills to people in need of good jobs, on creating standards and practices around carbon emissions data and management, and supporting the transition to resilient and green infrastructure, we can reach the goals we need to make a more sustainable, more equitable future for all of us. As leaders in business, government, academia, media, and etc., let's work together to create the future we need to see. One where employees are a value center and not a cost center. Net zero carbon is the new normal. Wellness is the new wealth. Infrastructure predicts the unpredictable. How you make something is just as important as what you are making. And where technology creates a smarter, not a smaller workforce. So when I think back to that day, roughly a year ago, when the sun never rose in San Francisco, and my pregnant wife and I walked outside under an orange sky that loomed ominously for the entire day, I now believe that we can change course. Since then, our lives have been completely upended. We gave birth to twin baby girls roughly six months ago. And as if this work weren't urgent enough, I now have two more wonderful reasons to double down on ensuring that tomorrow is better and brighter than today. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. We need to deliver a sustainable, resilient, and equitable future for all of those who come after us. Thank you very much. I look forward to working with all of you to achieve this future.